has changed dramatically and in some ways permanently over the last several months. Whether it's learning new ways to communicate with colleagues and clients, being trained on new job functions in a completely different environment, or navigating career development while working remotely. This year's rapidly changing circumstances have given workers around the world a lot to absorb quickly. In the face of extraordinary change, technology has played a critical role in helping companies and their employees adapt. My special guest is John Jordan, head of the Academy of Bank of America. Welcome, John. Thank you, Mark. Glad to be with you this morning. Well, mate, new trends and technologies will shape workforce training in 2021 and beyond business leaders can adapt their approaches accordingly. But, John, the workplace as we know it uh, will continue to evolve, I guess, making tech-driven training solutions central to preparing our workforce for whatever the future may hold. Tell us about the Academy, Bank of America's award-winning onboarding coaching and development organization for its employees in its consumer and small business. Thanks, Mark. At Bank of America, I'm, I'm very blessed to be a part of an organization where training and development is part of our culture. And we are passionate about equipping all employees with the skills they need to be successful And it's something we prioritize with every employee from the very first day they start here. One of the key ways we've done that is through the Academy. And this is an award-winning onboarding and coaching and development organization for all of our client-facing employees as well as the leaders. And I've had the opportunity to lead the Academy for the past few years. And it's we have over 40,000 participants a year that go through skills training, job readiness training, onboarding, uh, helping them to be successful in every role. And this past year, we've been really heavily focused on preparing our workforce, not only for the current environment, but for the future. And we've leveraged technology, but we've also leveraged a lot of high-touch interactions to make sure that our employees are ready and successful with every interaction. So, John, what you're saying is you're using tools like uh, virtual reality, uh, client engagement simulators, and uh, what artificial intelligence-powered bot simulators, employees... Well, I guess they gain hands-on practice with real-world scenarios and interactive coaching before they even step into client interactions. That's exactly right. We've leveraged technology in new ways. Given the environment we're in, it could be as simple as a, a video interaction where we're having folks who are working from home interacting with a coach, or we can leverage these new tools like virtual reality where people actually get to practice what they're doing before they actually have to engage with the client. It's so important because it helps them feel like they're going to be more successful from day one. Well, it sounds fantastic to me because I'm, you know, left brain, right brain, mate. I'm no techie. And uh, by doing all of that, I'd be so confident before I was thrown out to the sharks, if you know what I mean, you know? Absolutely. So what training and development strategies has Bank of America implemented Uh, to continue employee growth this coming year? Well, this year has really prompted all businesses to assess what's working and what needs to improve in all aspects of the organization, and particularly in training and development. And one of the most important things businesses can do and what we've done is just listen to our employees, try to understand what it is that they need. We serve more than 80,000 employees, so we're constantly learning from them as we continue to get better. And one of the ways we've been doing that and eliciting feedback from our training program is this real-time feedback mechanism we call teammate voices. We listen to employees from the very first day to make sure that they're getting the right experience and that they know how to do the job well. Mm. We've also discovered a number of tech-driven training tools, and we've talked about a couple of those. One is just the use of video conferencing for these one-on-one coaching interactions. We've had to replace some of those side-by-side coaching uh, interactions that we've had in the past, but video technology is phenomenal. It's really effective. We've also got the simulator training that we referenced in the opening. We've got 250 virtual training simulations. We call them the ACEs simulations, and this provides really hands-on practice environments so people can feel comfortable with the technology that they're using before they actually have interactions with clients. And now we're using AI in new ways to have conversations simulated. We could simulate an interview like we're doing right now or simulate uh, a client interaction where the AI is actually adapting to the tone of voice or what the, uh, inter- what the employee says to help them get more comfortable with their conversation skills. It's been incredibly powerful. 
these real life scenarios just they they get again they give more practice and it's so much more than just web-based training where you're just kind of clicking through a module or a manual which some people may have used in the past now we're using real tools and real technology to make it feel uh like it's an environment where they can where it feels real Mm. from day one fantastic what have you learned that will inform your training uh, and development strategies uh, for your workforce you know in the coming year Well, we've learned a lot. Uh, We've learned, first of all, that technology is going to continue to play a huge role for the future of work. Um, I know most of the parents that are listening can relate to this technology takeover in their home, whether it's the distance learning that their kids may be doing or constantly playing video games or the social media that a lot of our teenagers are engaged in. Um, and, but we've learned that you can teach them some of those things, leveraging technology, or you can teach a lot of things, uh, including these intangible skills like emotional intelligence and adaptability and resilience or critical thinking, because we've been able to leverage things like augmented reality or virtual reality or artificial intelligence to really simulate real interactions. And, and when you have those real memorable experiences, that's truly engaging, People learn from that, and they remember it. Mm. And virtual reality is just one of the the technologies we're really exciting, uh, are excited to be incorporating into our our training programs. And we've got a lot more to come. And every day, it feels like there's more training technology that's coming into the marketplace for us to consider and for us to potentially use in the future. Well, what, what should other businesses prioritize when adapting their employee training and development programs, do you think? Well, I think at the end of the day, employee engagement, training, retention, it's all about answering three questions. They've got to be able to answer for their employees, are they proud to work here? Am I cared for at this company? And can I be successful? And so a lot of training and development comes down to instilling pride in what they're doing, instilling pride in the company that they're representing and the work that they're doing, and making sure that they feel like they are really cared for holistically at the company. Uh, But ultimately, we've really focused on making sure that they can be successful. And we've looked at things like their productivity to make sure that their interactions are successful. Um, We've listened to our employees, like I mentioned up front, Mm -hmm. and we've designed those key moments. So I will tell you that one of the biggest areas that any company could focus on is making sure they're designing things like onboarding, uh, that they're building ramps from one role to another so people can see a path, that there's not just – Uh, left to their imagination, but they can actually see a tangible path from one step to the next within their career. And then if a company can just be transparent with where are the tools, what do they expect, giving their, showing their investment tangibly for their employees so that they can really feel this investment of skills and knowledge and, uh, and they feel like they have a future. Well, John really is showing clearly how important it is, uh, to invest in tech-driven workforce training solutions. I mean, at the end of the day, it must affect the bottom line. Now, what are some of the most important training and development resources employees should look for from their employers? Well, the first thing, you've got to look for a company that prioritizes learning and development on an ongoing basis and that they're providing some time and dedication to really do that. Um, If you're looking for a company that uh, and you're interviewing or considering working there, look and, and see how important learning and training is for them. Yeah, they may not have all the tools and technology resources today, but if they're making it a priority, if they're showing their investment in you as an individual, that's the kind of company you want to work for. And again, you go back to those three core questions. Are you going to feel like you're proud to work at this company? Are you going to feel cared for? And are they giving you all those tools to be successful? That's what I would encourage every one of your listeners to really ask about every employer that they're considering going to join. Absolutely fantastic. And I know with, you know, artificial intelligence, I just hope one day, John, a little bit on left field, but, you know, companies, when you ring in in the 16 million phone directions you've got to take, I wish they could clean that up so it's it's sharper, faster, and you served more quickly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, it's all about... 
absolutely. It's all about the client experience and uh, and listening to the clients and improving, making it simpler and easier every single day. No My doubt word. about it. My word. Fantastic. You do a great job. John Jordan, ladies and gentlemen, he's the head of the Academy at the Bank of America. It's an award-winning onboarding, coaching, and development organization, supporting more than 80,000 client-faced teammates across Bank of America's consumer and small business, uh, Merrill and private bank businesses. Thanks, John. A very informative. Be safe. Take care. Have a good Christmas, all right? Thank you, Mark.